of us, you know, God is encountering all of us, regardless if you've been in ministry a long time or, or, or just walking with the Lord um, in a new ways. God wants to encounter you today. And so when you're in this room, just be expecting him to speak to you. Amen. I think that sometimes we get in these places and we're kind of soaking and we're kind of feeling the music. We, we got to understand that God is speaking all the time. The Holy Spirit is speaking and ministering to us and inspiring us. He's breaking off callousness off our hearts. Many of us have walked through crazy seasons and our, our nation's in a crazy place. But when we come into the presence, we're filled with hope. We're filled with courage. We're filled with uh, an expectation and a, and a fresh hunger for the Lord. And so all of you have things that God wants you to do this year. All of you have things that God is calling you to step out in faith. And it comes from this place, right? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. People think that's just about money or possessions or, 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 or position, but really it's about what he's calling us to do and the land that he's calling us to sow into. And so the word of the Lord um, for me for this year has been plow, plow the ground of New England. And, and I just feel like, man, today we are going to plow the ground of New England today again. And, and when as people come together in agreement, and when they say, look, we're not, we're not just sitting back and say, enemy, have your way. We're plowing the ground and planting the seeds of salvation all over this region. That's what happens when people worship. That's what happens when people intercede to the Father. God begins to move. He begins to soften hearts. I was just talking to Kurt. He said, man, we had someone get saved at like one in the morning that came through here. And... And just the presence drawing people in, the, the presence breaks down the barriers. It breaks down a fence in our hearts. If you have a fence in your heart, man, in the presence, you can't bring that in here. Amen? You feel like, man, I can't even believe I held on to that. And so today, um, you might not be an active participant, man, and you might not be the best worship leader or speaker or whatever it may be, but you can participate in the Spirit. You can say, God, I'm actively engaging my heart today with what you want to say and what you want to do. So... My charge to you today is be obedient to the word of the Lord. Amen. Be obedient to what he says.